This tutorial will show you how to use the navigation tools to pan and zoom around your map. Begin by refreshing the page. If you are using Internet Explorer, press the function key F5 to refresh the map. Close all open widgets by clicking on the black X icon on the header of each widget. Maximize the browser window. If you are using Internet Explorer, press the function key F11. The browser will open in full screen mode. Press F11 once again. The browser will toggle back to normal mode. Press F11 to toggle to full screen mode. Now you have an uncluttered window with the largest viewing area. Move your mouse across the map. The latitude and longitude readout on the bottom of your screen gives your cursor position in decimal degrees. Notice how the longitude values change as you move your cursor in the X direction, while the latitude values change when you move the mouse cursor in the Y direction. Hover your mouse over the navigation tool on the upper left of your screen. Notice how it comes to focus when you move your mouse over it. Hover your mouse over the hand icon. The tool tip will tell you this is the pan tool. Notice the black border around this tool. This indicates that the pan tool is currently active. Click and hold your left mouse button on any point on the map and slowly drag your mouse to the left. Notice how the mouse cursor changes to a hand icon while you are dragging the map. Position the map of Arizona anywhere on the screen and release your mouse. Notice how the cursor changes back to a pointer. You can also use the pan controls to shift your viewing window horizontally to the left or to the right. You can move your viewing window vertically up or down. You can even move your viewing window diagonally. Clicking on the full extend button shown by the globe icon will always zoom and center the map of Arizona on your screen. You will now learn how to zoom in and zoom out using the zoom slider. Click and hold on the black dot on the zoom slider. You are viewing the map at a scale of 1 is to 2,311,162. Click once on the plus sign. Notice how the map zooms in and the black dot moves up by one notch. Click and hold on the black dot on the zoom slider. You are now viewing the map at a scale of 1 is to 1,155,581. Click once on the minus sign. Notice how the map zooms out and the black dot moves down by one notch. You can use the zoom slider along with your pen tool. To navigate around your map. However, there is a far quicker and elegant way to zoom to your area of interest with a single operation. Hover your mouse over the magnifying glass with a plus sign. This is your zoom in tool. Hover your mouse over the magnifying glass with a minus sign. This is your zoom out tool. Click once on the zoom in tool. Notice how the black border appears around it. You are now in zoom in mode. Notice also how the cursor changes to a crosshair. With the zoom in tool activated, you are going to zoom around the city of Phoenix. Begin by defining a rectangle around Phoenix. Click and hold down your left mouse button and drag a rectangle and let go. The map will zoom in to the extents of your rectangle. Click and drag to draw another rectangle around Sky Harbor Airport. Notice how the base map reveals more details as you zoom in closer. Click and drag another rectangle around the Phoenix Greyhound Park. Now you can see the building footprints. How do you zoom out? Click on the Zoom Out tool to activate it. Draw a rectangle as before. The extents of your viewing area will be shrunk to fit inside this rectangle. It works in reverse. Notice the overview map on the lower right. It shows a red rectangle, showing the current extents of your viewing area. Drag this rectangle around. See how the main map updates 
to reflect the position of the red rectangle. You can use this as a handy panning tool. Switch back to the pan mode by clicking the hand icon. Notice how the cursor changes to an arrow. Here is an important tip to speed up your navigation. You have learned how to grab the map and move it while in pan mode. However, here is the trick to zoom to a rectangle while you are still in pan mode. Draw a rectangle as before, but hold down your shift key while dragging your rectangle. See how the map zooms in. You can also zoom out while in pan mode. Draw a rectangle as before, but hold down your shift and your control key while dragging your rectangle. This means you can always remain in pan mode and never have to worry about switching modes. You can step back through your previous viewing extents by clicking the previous extent button. You can step forward through your viewing extents by clicking the next extent button. Remember to hold down the shift key to zoom in. Hold down the shift and control key to zoom out. The next tutorial will show you how to use the find an address widget to zoom to a street address.